Hello, and welcome to our TED Talk. I'm Matt Bertman. And I'm Natalie Logue. As of now, our green, clean planet runs on dirty fossil fuels. In the United States especially, fossil fuels is one of the largest industries. The biggest selling point behind fossil fuels such as coal is that we have a lot of it. New studies are coming out every year saying that we now have more than 200 years worth of mineable coal. 200 years. Now, 200 years is a lot, unless, of course, you compare that to any number of alternatives. Today, we'll be talking about just one of those, active solar heating. Active solar heating is a process in which solar energy is used to heat buildings, homes and buildings at a much lower cost to people, and more importantly, to the environment. Now, but wait, coal lobbyists say we have 200 years of coal. That's a lot of coal. But actually, no, it's not compared to active solar heating. Modern scientific experiments estimate that our star, the sun, will die out in about 7.5 billion years. That's billion with a B. Now, on one side, 200 years, on the other, 7.5 billion years. 200, 7.5 billion. For a logical person, it's a pretty easy choice. Active solar heating is incredibly viable. The sun being, you know, a star, won't run out, for, run out of energy for billions of years. So basically, we have an unlimited energy source. Another upside to active solar heating is that there are very few safety concerns. The only safety concerns are those of securing the tank in the process that stores the warm liquid that, that heats your home. This is not a big safety concern and wouldn't be a big problem. Another upside, a large upside of, to this type of heating is that there's very little waste. The system is a closed loop and nothing is disposed of as the system heats air and disperses it throughout a home or building. There's also zero negative environmental impact with this energy source. It comes directly from the sun and uses very little energy to then heat a home and has no air pollutants or anything. It is, very, it is a very easy energy source to get, contain, and continue to use. Compared to other renewables, active solar heating is one of the best possible options for heating because it requires very little energy to use and has almost unlimited potential for the future. Another, there's only one other renewable energy source that comes close to what active solar heating does, and that would be passive solar heating. Passive solar heating uses materials to absorb heat to warm homes instead of panels on the roof to, to push warm air around. Active solar heating heats a home much more efficiently and faster than passive solar heating, which is why it's better. The process of this energy source is brilliantly simple. The flat plate solar co collectors are usually placed on the roof or ground in the sunlight. The top has a glass or plastic cover to let the solar energy in. Cold water is drawn from the storage tank by pump one, as you can see in the diagram, and is pumped through the flat plate collector. The water absorbs the solar energy and is returned back to the tank. Warm water from the tank is pumped by pump number two through the heating coil. The fan blows air from the room over the heated coil, and the heated air then passes into the room and heats the room. Cold air sinks to the bottom and is recirculated over the heating coils. The only viabilities that would occur would only happen if the sun ran out of energy, which is yet to happen in 7.5 billion years. The other viability would be if the storage tank were to explode. However, the likelihood of this is slim to none. Now, there are a few small weaknesses regarding solar, active solar energy. One of the ones that presents a problem in the present is that the energy source requires a small amount of outside energy to power the fan or pump that ends up moving the heated air around the house. This lowers the net energy return in the process. This issue is not a huge problem though, but it does lower the amount of energy gained in total by a small amount. Another problem with active solar heating is a problem seen with all solar energy systems. It is the problem of continuing to gain energy during inclement weather or when the sun is, is, is not out. This is a problem that doesn't have a very clear solution, but all these systems and their technology continue to get more advanced each year and solutions will be brought forward to fix this in the future. The energy is powered by the sun. As every first grader knows, the sun shines everywhere on Earth. This means that anywhere on Earth, this energy system can be used to heat homes. While yes, in some places, it is more efficient and works better, this system could be used anywhere in the United States and anywhere in the entire world. This is a map of the United States. You can use this energy source anywhere on this map. However, the best and more, more efficient use of this energy source would be in the South in states such as Texas, California, Utah, Florida, and many of the other states because they get the most sunlight year-round. Another reason why this energy source is so amazing is that the federal government provides incentives for the purchase of these active solar energy systems. If the system bought is applicable, the government will pay for 25% of the entire price of the system, which is a significant amount of money and a good reason to purchase a system. 
Overall, if you look at all the facts, the positive impacts, the incentives, the zero negative environmental effects, the virtually unlimited source of energy, and the complete efficiency, it is very clear to see that this energy alternative is a genuine possib possible alternative and must be considered so that we can put an end to the use of fossil fuels and stop the damage we are doing to our planet. Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. I'm Matt Bertman. And I'm Natalie Logue. Thank you and good night. Thank you.